Hey everyone, my name is Jurt and we are here. This is going to be week number 10 of the UBL. This will be the final week against the number one seed, OP Jellison. And uh, we have been winning a few matches and a win here would absolutely solidify a playoff spot. Uh, a loss here would mean that a lot has to happen. A lot's going to be dependent on wins and losses and differentials, but I can avoid all of that if I could just win this match here. But here we see uh, Excelgor, which I honestly did not expect. Cobalion... Uh, Hippowdon, Weavile, Manaphy, and, and Latios. So this is super interesting. This is super interesting. Uh, he, right off the bat, he's leaving behind Rotom Heat. Rotom Heat is pretty wild. Leaving behind Gorgeist, which, uh, Randy HLD and I did, uh, argue about quite a bit. Leaving behind Crobat as well. Um, this is super interesting. Part of me just wants to lead off with the with the Azumarill. That could honestly just be the best lead available to me. Serena also seems like a solid lead here. Uh, I am a little bit hesitant to lead the, the Raikou. I do have Dual Scarf between Serena and Raikou. Um, hmm. I mean, I also wouldn't even mind just leading off Necrozma. Hmm, I'd have to think about this. Uh, I probably, I don't know. I really just want to lead Azumarill. Honestly, if I'm being honest, that's just what I want to do. He might just set up rocks super early on, and I don't think either of us have Defog. He has, he has, uh, he has Latios. I have potential Serena, but my Serena actually does not have Rapid Spin. Um, but he does have to respect it, I guess. Um, I'd be curious to know if he goes for uh, a hip out on lead. I doubt it, but uh, at the same time, this just seems like overall the best lead available to me. Does um, lead off with a Cobalion. Does lead off with a Cobalion. So, against a Cobalion, he does kind of have to respect the... Respect the... Superpower, but at the same time. No, my play should be to play rough twice. Yeah, my play should be to play rough twice. Honestly, if I get rid of this thing early, getting rid of this thing early would mean that really nothing stops my Clefable from being able to set up here. And his switches in really are not ideal. Does lead off with a Z move. I don't think any type of Z move. Z Iron Head, I don't think KOs me. Yeah, it shouldn't. It does put me in a position where a follow up Iron Head would, but even then, it seems a little bit iffy. I guess I'll just have to see. That also assumes Jolly. I guess I do have to gauge it quite a bit based off of this damage, but he can't flinch me. If nothing else, he cannot flinch me. Drops me down to 61. That almost definitely looks adamant to me. And that almost definitely looks no bulk to me as well. So let me see here. Two hundred three down to sixty one is one forty two. That could be jolly. It's, it's probably going to be one of those situations where it could be jolly, it could be adamant. But regardless, it is max attack. It's very likely jolly. It's very very likely jolly. And I think Azumarill has a few Aqua Jets in it, for sure. But what would I want to go into here? I could... I could go into Necrozma, yeah. Necrozma feels good to me here. Necrozma feels good to me here. I imagine he would want to set up rocks, but he could just take... You no, know, he would want to take me out. He would for sure just want to take me out. Uh, that does an okay amount, but I should be able to just click Autotomize here. And it'll put me in a position to do something. Let's go for the rocks. That's super interesting. So, I could also... No, okay. There's the Autotomize, and... 
I can hit the Photon Geyser here. I can just hit the Photon Geyser and see where that gets me here. I'd be surprised if he wants to switch anything in, but... Like I said, the Cobalion is really helpful against my Clefable. Like, genuinely really helpful against my Clefable. It does withdraw. I'd be curious to, see, to know if he goes for the Weavile. No, that's not... Okay. That's going to be a very decent amount of damage on this thing. A 2 KO is probably ambitious, but um, any damage is solid damage onto this thing. He probably just wants to Toxic me. But if he Toxics me, then getting rid of this thing is also huge. Hit Pout on. Um, let me see here. Against Necrozma, that's almost definitely just Max Defense Calm. Maybe not calm, but it's almost definitely max special defense. But I think Photon Geyser is just going to be my strongest move. Unless I go for a Dark Pulse flinch here. Unless I just go for a Dark Pulse flinch here. I'm going to get Toxic, which is going to suck. But I think ultimately it's fine. I'm going to go for that Photon Geyser. I'm just going to go for the Photon Geyser. Dark Pulse... <sighs> Dark Pulse might have been a slightly better play. I'd be curious. Yeah, just go for the Toxic. Oh, no. We avoid... That's unfortunate. I'm going to type. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry about that, man. Uh, it looks like any other move that I go for would not exactly KO here. I can go for a Dark Pulse just for some chip damage onto the Weavile if it comes in. Or... A for the Latias as well. It looks like Dark Pulse should pick up a KO at 20%. I guess I should. I guess I should. I'll just click Dark Pulse here. Yeah, okay. I can just take this thing out. That's fine. Okay, okay, okay. So we can pretend. We can pretend that I Dark Pulse flinched. If that makes him feel better, we can pretend that I Dark Pulse flinched. That's at least a 20%. I think Toxic is a 5% to miss. It just, it's just going to be what it is. But he knows that I have the Dark Pulse now. Uh, which, I don't know, maybe doesn't even scare him with, with Latios play. He could know that I'm weakness policy by the way that I'm playing this thing. Uh, I don't know. I'm, I can't be Z-Move. Uh, this isn't a Z-Move user. I don't know what he would expect me to be. Maybe he thinks that I'm Colbert. Oh man, Colbert would be fantastic in this situation. Actually. Colbert, <coughs> Colbert would be hugely clutch. But actually, Power Gem might just KO. Power Gem might actually just straight up KO. He might be trying to calc out Ice Shard. Wow, Ice Shard does a lot of damage to me, actually. Oh, Power Gem is a huge... Power Gem probably doesn't KO, actually. Which actually kind of sucks for me. I don't know what this thing is. Okay. Latios. He could be trying to... Oh man, Dark Pulse is doing a lot of damage. I'm gonna go for it. We're gonna see whatever happens, man. I don't know. I really don't have many plays right now, but the only plays that I do have is just to try to hit this thing. The fact that the Cobalion is still around is genuinely uh, not ideal. But, yeah, that's at least max HP. At least max HP. Um, that's also max special defense. Or at least really specially bulky. That's really specially bulky, yeah. So, I guess I'm just out here. It's gonna be a matter of time until I flinch, I guess. But, or crit. Just just roost, okay. Okay. Was this a smooth rock hip out on? It had. It must have been. Uh, th that's the last turn. I guess I, there's really nothing, no other play that I have here. And there's no real reason to hang on to Necrozma either. There's no real reason to hold on to Necrozma. Life. 
but we've seen Calm Mind Roost. That only leaves him with two attacks. Maybe... Maybe it's just... Maybe it's just... I feel like a crit's gonna happen really reasonably soon. I have plenty of Dark Pulses, and just making this thing... Man, I'm a okay. I'm honestly amazed that I'm not seeing a flinch yet. But I don't know. Even Serena U-turn might honestly have to come in clutch here because now that I know that how invested this thing is, Serena U-turn, man. If I can keep this thing under half, then Serena U-turn should pretty much do it. I think. But will a flinch come in now? That's a crit. Okay, there it is. It had to happen eventually, man. It had to happen eventually. But, I was always in the advantage by being the the attacking Mon and not, you know, the stalling Mon. Um, I don't even know, like, what he could have stalled me out of. I don't know, man. It, like I said, it had to happen eventually. Even if this thing did went down, all I had to do is keep it under half, and Serena U-Turn would have done the thing. It does go into Weavile. It looks like a question as to whether or not, um... Ice Shard would KO here. I don't think it does. I think I take a, I think I take an Ice Shard, but I'm not going to be able to KO here. Does not go for an Ice Shard, which is fine, but I don't think I KO here. I don't, yeah. I'm going to get knocked off, and uh, I did have weakness policy for, for whatever that's worth. It would have popped if I was healthier, but um, what can I do here? What can I do here? I can U-turn with Serena. Serena U-turn might just be my play. I It's either Serena or Raikou. Hmm. Raikou would ensure outspeed unless this thing is scarfed itself. Unless this thing is scarfed itself. I could honestly just go into Registeel as well. I'll just make the slightly safer play into Raikou. Although, if this thing is is actually scarfed and hits knockoff, then that would be pretty bad. That would honestly be, just be pretty bad. There's no real way around it. It's just bad. But, it looks like Volt Switching into Registeel is going to be pretty no drawback here. I could Volt Switch into Serena, if anything. What is the best Volt Switch target? What is the best Volt Switch target? He has the Excelgore, the Manaphy, and the Cobalion. Excelgore, Co Excelgore, Cobalion, Manaphy. Excelgore, Excelgore, Cobalion, Manaphy. That's gotta be Registeel, right? It's got to be Registeel, right? I'll go for it. Let's let's see whatever Registeel can do here. Let's see whatever I can do with Registeel here. Getting on rocks isn't the most important, but it is reasonably important? I don't know. It's not not important. This is honestly... He could be Swords Dancing right now. He could be Swords Dancing right now, but if he is Swords Dancing... Then I think that just means that... Uh... I think that just means that I could should be able to... Seismic Toss this thing. Oh man, it looks right on the edge of Seismic Toss territory. Regardless, I don't I don't think I care if this thing... I, this thing could be Dual Dance. It could be Dual Dance. If it's Dual Dance and I have Azumarill. If it's Dual Dance, I have Azumarill. Does Azumarill KO? Azumarill, okay. Azumarill should KO no matter what happens. 
So getting up rocks could be just important here. Go, does go for the CC. Should be able to take that okay. All right. That's not how it define okay, but it's it could be worse. Could have been worse. I'll just get rocks up here. That's fine. I'm just here. But uh, yeah. I don't know where that leaves me. Giving up Regi Steel for a little bit of Rocks Chip feels right to me, though. It depends a lot on. It actually depends a lot on if Serena can take a Bug Buzz. How confident I feel in the overall look at this match. Serena does not take a bug buzz, but that's assuming specs. If it's not, if it's not specs, then we should al almost always take a bug buzz. Actually, that's not before. Ro that's not after rocks. Yeah, it's a guarantee. Uh, that, but that's max attack timid. It's max special attack timid. Um. Is there anything worth switching into right now? I could go into the Serena. Well, no, I I kind of need Serena just in case it's a it's a call my Manaphy. Serena would be huge. I think Raikou Thunderbolt just kind of wins from here on out. But I don't want to give up give up anything that I don't have to. Can Azumarill take a close combat? Probably not. Let me just see. Oh, I might. No, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do it. I'm just gonna click Seismic Toss. But I actually might take a close combat. Close combat maxes out at 57 HP to an incoming Azumarill, and then I can Aqua Jet. Well, no, Aqua Jet's gonna be no, no, no. Okay, I, I need to calm down because Aqua Jet's gonna be super important in ca in uh, in case I need an emergency button against the against the Exogor. So yeah, I should be just be I should just be able to go into Raikou. and from here clicking Thunderbolt a, a couple of times. Puts me in the best position possible. Uh, I am a modest Raikou, and Thunderbolt should Thunderbolt should always do. Uh, should always do the thing after rocks to an Excel Gore, unless it's crazy bulky, in which case, you know, I was never gonna, you know, win that matchup. Does go into this thing. Does go into this thing. And I just have to click Thunderbolt here. I have to try and see if I can KO here. Oof. Okay, hidden power ground. We take that. We take that. Yeah, we do. All right, there we go. Now I don't think. I mean, it could be a scarf manaphy. It could definitely be a scarf manaphy. Water shuriken. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Come on, come on. Okay, there we go. Okay, Raikou's coming through. Raikou's coming through. And now we just see. I know he likes his really bulky manaphies with like, uh, max HP at least. Um, Raikou should be doing a lot of damage to a max HP Manaphy still. If this is not less than max HP Manaphy, then we should just win outright. But regardless, then Serena should win. Yeah, we do miss out on the KO. Just go for the Surf. That's going to be fine. Uh, now I think I can hopefully rely on Serena to land a, to land a, a power whip although I might just want to I might just want to click u-turn here yeah u-turn makes a lot more sense even if this thing is max HP it would have to be like max defense in order to not be killed by this u-turn and even if it is even if it does uh, take this hit then uh, I should 
be able to come back in and attempt another power wave. But there we go. That's going to be week 10. We do end uh, the UBL by beating the number two and the number one seeds back to back. And I believe that should pretty much lock up a slot for us. Uh, I'm really excited to see what we can do in the playoffs. Uh, I'm really excited about how my team is going to go on into the playoffs. But regardless, that's going to be it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll be back really, really soon with more weeks of the League War that's that's gone going. The UBL as well. Uh, the playoffs coming up really, really soon. The ICBA playoffs is going to be delayed, but it is coming really, really soon. I've already played the first matchup, and uh, the, the second round is going to be a little bit delayed, but also uh, just other stuff as well. Stay tuned. But once again, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to be once again out.